fuck the kids? Yeah. Now, when I say who's the master, you say no, no. What is up, guys? Showing up the king here, back with another toy review, and today I am bringing you my review for the SH figure Arch Jiren. This is based off of the Dragon Ball Super Jiren from Bandai Tamashii Nations. I am super excited to get into this review, so let's not waste any time. All right. So as you can see here, we have the fantastic box. We have the Tamashii Nations Bandai logo, Dragon Ball Super. On the side, we have nothing. On the back, we have a product shot with some poses and on the side we have some more artwork on the top we have nothing and on the bottom we have Jiren all right so I'm excited let's get this box open all right so I already took the liberty of taking the tape off but I have not officially unboxed this yet you know I like to do this live and then color and wow Look at this, guys. This guy comes with a lot of accessories. We get four heads. We get crossed arms. We get the hands where you can put, if you have a Super Saiyan Blue Goku, you can put that in. We have a flame punch effect and we have a glowing fist effect along with two hands. Two extra, we have two fisted hands two palmed hands and two gripping hands along with the other gripping hand that match the one that he has here. And again, I'll give you guys a close up of what's in the package. Man. All right. All right, we'll be back for the official review. All right, we are back with the Jiren review. So, all right, I've been messing around with this thing for a while and I have to say, this, this might be and my top five SH figure arts figures yet. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna pre, I'm not gonna be overhyped right now. I'm gonna give it a couple weeks to make my final decision. But I have to say, just between the accessories and the detail and the actual sculpt and the features, this is by far the the best Jiren that we could have gotten. Now, one thing that I want to say. Off, off jump is that he actually doesn't feel that heavy like when I saw the promotional images a few months ago I just felt like this figure would be as heavy as a, a Majin Buu or um, or even as like as heavy as a Broly but he's not like and I think and I'll show you guys when I do the size comparisons, but you know, Jaren himself, he, he almost feels hollow like I'm not saying this is like a really bad negative thing, but you can kind of tell that like in the underneath the chest plate there is it's, it's it's very hollow but again it's not a big issue it's it's not going to be anything that like detracts from the review this is just something that i noticed so let's just kind of look at the head sculpt up close as you can see they nailed this jaren like legit nailed him like the they matched the gray perfectly they even have the gray eyes with the black pupils and the white If you can see that. Yeah, you can. See? So they nailed that. And even with the ears, they did a great job. And this isn't flat. Like, you can actually go inside the ear a little bit. Like a little ear canal. And it looks great. Now the muscles. Like, Jaren Jerry needs to be an imposing figure. And I definitely think they nailed it in the muscle category like you can see the pectoral muscles bulging out you can see his muscles on the side and even his back muscles his back muscles are actually the most impressive because you can literally see every single solitary bulge in each one of his muscles like he is flexing for real even his glutes is just like mad muscular like it's it's crazy i mean the detail is just incredible. Incredible. All right. So let's talk about his accessories because it's actually something new for an SH figure arts. So we have the different head sculpts that I told you about. We have the angry red eyed jeering face and you can kind of take a look at that. 
again, you lose the gray, you lose the uh, black, and you lose the white, and then it just goes from the black straight to the red eyes, and this is kind of like when him in his furious mode, but again, even they handled this sculpt perfectly, as you can see. Great job. Then we have the angry Jiren face. And this time, again, we just kind of have him staring to the side. So it's just him kind of like looking off with the gritted teeth. Again, fantastic job. And we just have another yelling face now. Butterfingers. Ugh. Sorry about that, guys. So you can see here, this is full screaming, and the other one is just more of a gritted teeth. So even though they look the same, they aren't. One is with just him screaming, and then one is just with him gritting his teeth. And I really appreciate them doing both because we know Tamashi Nations and Bandai, they've done, they've done us dirty in the past where they wouldn't give us this many options as far as like face sculpts go. So the fact that we get four head sculpts on this Jiren is amazing, and that's not all. We get the palming. Oh, I'm sorry. That's wrong accessory. <laughs> we'll get back to that. Now, we also got the relaxed crossed arms fit. And again, I'll show you how to put this on later. But again, the detail in this is fantastic. And the only other figures we've gotten this on, uh, we've gotten this on the Vegeta Super Saiyan Blue. We got it on the Cell, Perfect Cell. And then we got it on what's one other person. Oh, yes, the the Vegito, Vegito Blue also had the crossed arms. So, and again, these crossed arms are done well. Same detail to the muscles. It it looks it looks great. I love it. And again, they, it's just now onto the hands. So I mentioned before, and when you saw it in the packaging, it looks like all of the effects are delegated to his right arm, his um, his right hand, which is his, his, I guess his dominant hand, and we get the glowing fist. And again, I love the translucent look to this. It looks like a lava red kind of look to it. And again, it is done in exquisite detail. As you can see through my fat fingers. We also have the fire fist. Now this is the same fire fist that he used on Goku in a tournament of power. And again, this thing looks amazing. I love the shading, how you have the translucent red at the top, like almost like an orange. And then as it goes to the back, you also have it in like a deeper shade of red. Love it. Love it, love it. We also come with two hands, just typical hands. My favorite, always got to have the palmed hands. And we have one of two gripping hands. Now we have one basic gripping hand, as you can see here. And then we have this other hand. And what I've done for this is I've gone ahead and I've attached it to my Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And you can see that it fits perfectly. The blue that they have here fits the blue that comes on the original Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So you really cannot tell the difference at all. Now I can tell you just off jump, that this Jiren will not be able to hold up this Goku on his weight alone. You will have to have a stand in order to do it. So I haven't done the actual pose yet, so we'll do it live on camera. But again, like I said, I can just tell you now from looking at it that Jiren will not be able to just kind of hold Goku up in the air all for the strength of the ball peg alone. It's just not going to happen. got to make sure I warm up these joints well you know he won't be able to stand them up in the air but he'll definitely be able to yeah so you can have a stand and you can still have Jiren grabbing Goku by the head and you can just kind of switch the face plate for the Goku and he'll definitely be able to grab Jiren I mean Jiren should be able to grab him no problem 
he just won't be able to like hold them up in the air. But I'm pretty sure if you guys are really good with your posing, you you know how you can show that and have it work. So it's it's great. I I, I really like it. So that is the Jaren. Let's talk about. I'll take the hat off. And again, this is what he looks like regularly. So you can always swap out the faces if you prefer. And this is kind of what it looks like when it's just attached with nothing else on it. Pretty cool. Take that off. Put his other hand back on. Oh, you know what? While I have you guys here, while I have you guys here, let me show you what the power fist looks like. And I also want to show you how to change the heads because that's actually different as well. So this is Jaren with the power glow fist. And again, it kind of reminds me of Domon, Domon Kashu from uh, G Gundam. This hand of mine is burning red. It's loud. Roy tells me to defeat you. Yeah, I love G Gundam. King of Hearts all day. Comment below if you thought Sai Saishi should have won that fight against Domon. That's a little bit of deep cut for y'all. <laughs> and then you got the red fist and you all you have to do is line it up and bam, slide it on. And you just got to make sure like this. Da, 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 da. And then boom. And you can kind of like do like the jeering punching fist motion and. Now, what I don't know is if it will stay on if I hold it upside down. That is a good question. No, I don't think it'll stay on if you hold it upside down, but I guess you don't really need to, to be honest. Whatever the, the, whatever punch or whatever little thing you pose you want to put them in, you know, you can just kind of do it. It'll stay still like it's not going to wiggle, but... If you like drop it down, it'll probably fall off. And again, I could be wrong. I could just be doing it wrong right now. Yeah. Yeah, it won't stay on right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm just doing something wrong. So I'm not going to really sweat it or waste anybody else's time. All right, let's talk about articulation and then we'll get into. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm screwing up. I want to talk about the head sculpt because this is actually a different way to do the jeering heads. So you got the one head and when you take it off, it is on a ball peg, but it's also with this little toggle piece. And what you do is, cause at first I thought that you just kind of take this little T square and you stick it in, but no, you don't. You just have to pull it off just like that. It's kind of like a coat rack and then you just slide it on and boom. That's how you switch the heads. So that's Jaren screaming. And then, boom, that's uh, Jaren screaming as angry red alien. And we have. It's my grits, Jaren. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so we're going to take a pause for the calls and we'll be back with the size comparison and with All the right, guys, we are at the final stretch. It's time for articulation and scaling. All right, so before I get into that, I forgot to do my shameless plugs. Make sure you guys are checking out the Mag Nerd Podcast Instagram page. That is where I post all my videos, uh, photos. Anytime you want to know about the Mag Nerd Podcast, you should go there or show up the king. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up this video. Share the video. It really helps me get my message and my stuff out there. I really appreciate it, guys. I am on the road to a thousand subscribers. I am up to 730, something like that. So I'm actually growing at a pretty good pace. I really want to try to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of 2020. Let's make it happen. All right. So, oh, also, 
I have videos that I'm going to link in the video description below. Uh, this this past week, I did a video for the Figure Reborn Red Ranger. I did a review for the Storms Collectibles Bane. I also have a video up just doing a room tour so you guys can see what my actual man cave looks like. And I also did a review for uh, all my top action figures of 2019. So without anything else, my shameless plug is done. Let's get into this articulation. All right. So Jaren can look that far up. That far down. His head can do a full turn to the side. Full 360, obviously. He has traps, so his arms can go in and around that much. He has arm pivot, full rotation. He has it all. He can actually lean back that much. So even if his head can't look all the way up, he has great articulation and he can look that far down. So it doesn't look like his back because of his ab muscles can't go all the way down, but he can go all the way back. He can do full splits, full frontal kick, knee joint, ankle, toe. Jiren has everything. Love him. All right. Now let's do this size comparison. Hopefully he'll stand still. You know what? We're going to move it right here where I know he'll stay still. All right. So we're going to do Oh, his hand fell off. Good lord. Alright. Dropping stuff. We have the SH Figure Arts Evil Boo. Looks good. Love it. We have the SH Figure Arts in Super Broly. Not fully enraged Super Broly, but Super Broly. Again, good detail. Love it. We have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Come on, Vegeta. Get your life together. And again, as you can see, Vegeta is smaller as he should be. And we have Imperfect. We'll put Vegeta over to the side here. Move Jiren over a little bit more. And we'll add in the Imperfect Super Saiyan, I mean Ultra Instinct Goku from Demonical Fit. Zoom in so you guys can see. Zoom out. And finally, we have the mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And again, I love it. Love it, love it. So if I had to give this SH Figure Arts a score out of 10, I would give this figure a solid 9.5. I mean... The accessories, the paint sculpt, the shading, it it has it all. The articulation is there. Like, I am thoroughly impressed. If you guys manage to get your hands on the Japanese release of this, it's definitely one of those figures that's worth an early purchase. I actually have an extra Jaren coming in the mail, probably on Monday. Uh, so, I might end up selling that. So, if anyone is interested in an extra Jaren, just let a brother know. Uh, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, and have a great weekend. Peace.